Welcome back to the Theme Park Observer here at Universal Studios Florida. Thanks to these photos from Bio Reconstruct checking in on the DreamWorks Land progress. And not only do we have lots of updates and cool new finishes for Shrek's Land and some new finishes in the Trolls area, but even a new ride has popped up. I didn't know there's going to be any new ride additions to this land, but as you'll see later in the video, yeah, the Trolls area has a brand new flat ride. So it's pretty exciting stuff and hopefully we get an opening for the opening date for this pretty soon because it's going to open up this year. So let's, let's jump right into it. Today, we're going to start off in the Kung Fu Panda area. Yeah, Kung Fu Panda again is using the old Curious George play area over here. And a lot of the same steel is being, uh, looks like, reused. And even the bucket, you can see the, uh, to the bottom of the picture there, that bucket, when I assume it pours a bucket of water on you, is being reused. And here's a better view of that bucket as well. Right over there, as it drips down, the water drips down the roof over there and onto everybody's heads. We can even see some pavement. They're putting some concrete down for some pavement. And so the, most of this area, as well as other areas throughout this land, which means they're getting close to completion. So, here's the area that I'm calling the Central Courtyard, as called in previous videos. But again, more pavement and pathways are being put down there. Benches are being set up. Some nice looking trees are in the middle there. And you can see the troller coaster to the left hand side. And on the bottom over there is Kung Fu Panda. And more pavement up towards the the land over there. Now that green, I'm not I don't think that's uh finished pavement. I think that's just a little primer. Then there'll be uh actual gray asphalt or gray pavement there coming soon. So this structure is now completed, and this is very interesting. This is Mama Luna. If you read uh, another photo, it will show the sign says Mama Luna on the gate, and on the top will be some kind of uh, cat silhouette, uh, a wind or wind vane. And this is going to be a, pit, a Puss in Boots area. You can do a meet and greet with all the Puss in Boots characters in here. So this is kind of an extension of the Shrek area, I'd see, I'd say. But yeah, this is going to be a nice Puss in Boots meet and greet, and they got a big, beautiful structure to meet greet, and they'll meet all the characters, I'm sure, from Puss in Boots 1 and Puss in Boots The Last Wish. I've determined that this play area is also part of the Shrek's, Shrek area, because in between the Puss in Boots and Shrek Swamp House, but also there's not a lot of outhouse structures you can see starting to form here, and it's very brown, so I think this play area is going to have to do with Shrek. You can see there's an outhouse right there, and lots of jungle gym and playhouse equipment, including what it looks to be a birdhouse as well. Speaking of Shrek's house, look at look at that beautiful swamp. I mean, my goodness, they're still not done because there's scaffolding still on the bottom, but all the foliage is starting to appear, and it looked fantastic before, which looks even better now. And again, you can see there's a tree stump right there, but the whole play area is right next to each other, so I believe that um, Shrek's house, the, or the play area will be part of Shrek's swamp. You can see here, there's a little opening in the tree stump. I'm not sure if that's going to be closed or if this will be an area like maybe there's a ladder or something to climb up to that second platform but there's like some lily pads or it looks like there's gonna be a like a water feature a water play area a splash pad right here where those uh, leaves or sticks are sticking up and the pavement is not quite done yet and you can see more details of the rock work of Shrek swamp to the right hand side there uh better look at the overall view, view of the playground if you have a couple of bridges here this is a quite an extensive playground you know Universal has done a pretty good job good job with their play areas. Camp Jurassic comes to mind and others as well. Five's play area before here was pretty pretty good as well. So Universal's pretty ex good expert in themed play areas. You know, Epic Universe, of course, will have one in their How to Train Your Dragon area. Now look at Shrek's house, and I'm curious if they'll move the ET um entrance, because it's you know close it is right there. I wonder if they'll move that somewhere else or if they'll just keep it like that. We'll see what it looks like when the construction walls are down. But you can see the, the pathway leading into the swamp, which will be um, meet and greet areas for the Shrek characters, Shrek, Fiona, Donkey, and much more. Here's the Mama Luna area of the Puss and Boots, meet, Puss and Boots meet and greet area. Very lovely lettering. And yeah, this is straight, straight out of those Puss and Boots movies, which is pretty cool. I'm glad they're getting their own play area. Now, look at this. This is the new ride I was talking about. Look at this new structure, but it looks to be a nice flat ride. Maybe like a swing ride or something. I'm not entirely sure what flat type of kitty ride this could be. Let me know in the comments, but look at this beautiful structure to begin with. I mean, wow. This is part of these trolls area. This looks very trolly. It looks like this is almost like a massive flower or something. Here's an overview shot of it. You can see, yeah. It looks like it might be 
a little swings ride or something. That's what I'm guessing. I'm not entirely sure, but nonetheless, it's good to see a, a ride addition to this area. I mean, I'm not too sure there wasn't really any concept art for the land, so I couldn't really expect too much, but I'm glad there's a ride addition. And you can even see maybe another splash play area over up top with those lily pads or those leaves that are those overgrown leaves that are over that unfinished paved area. Oops. And here's the troller coaster. Looking fantastic, but there's been some additions. I thought it was maybe complete. No, in the last video I was like, oh, maybe it's complete, but it's not. There's been some additions and there's some pavement. You can see the key pavement has been put in as well. And the colors are nice and vibrant as always. And look at that, and there's a switchback queue right there. But look at the roof, the roof. I don't know, I don't think that's on purpose, but it looks like there's still some to be done there. Or maybe it looks like, because I don't know, that could be themed. Looks like maybe like an animal took a bite out of it. There's a spider on this ride we'll get to, so maybe that's what it is. But it looks like there's some supports for something else that'll be attached to the roof as well of that station. There's that spider I just mentioned, the spider web at the top of the lift hill. And the spider, which is from the Trolls movies, which I have not seen, so you can let me know the character's name below. But I'm just call her or him the spider, is greeting you as you go down that first drop. And there's another shot of that new ride with, um, looks like Poppy and, oh my god, I don't know his name, but Poppy and someone else, another troll, are sitting on the little fountain right there, which is kind of cute. And that was it. Again, small little land, but it is getting quite, uh, decorative with lots of theming elements to be coming to the home stretch. And again, an opening date should be this summer is what uh, is rumored, so I'm hoping Universal will announce an opening date pretty soon. Curious to see what this new ride's gonna be. Probably a simple flat ride, and I can't wait to see what other characters pop up around the land for each various section. If you enjoyed this video, please press that thumbs up button and subscribe for more theme park updates and more updates on this project in general. If you really like the channel and want to contribute, you can become a YouTube member. You can click the join button below to get videos like this one, access to videos like this one, access early, early access, and Patreon, patreon.com slash club722 for free pin special perks, early access posts, and exclusive posts on the community tab here on YouTube and on Patreon for permits and much more. You can join below or, again, click on the Patreon link. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and you know what? Be trollerific.